Hey, welcome back. We are back at it again this week. Interior continues on this thing. I've got a few more odds and ends wrapped up on the inside, so I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But um, I think the game plan for at least this video is going to be tackling uh, these seats here. We'll see how well that goes. I know for a fact I do not have all the material I need. I'm going to start stretching out what I do have and kind of go from there. We'll order some stuff along the way. Hopefully it arrives in time. It's probably going to take us a couple days to get these things put back together, at least in a halfway mediocre attempt, but we'll, uh, we'll see what that kind of looks like. So I think I'm gonna start on the uh, on the rears here, be it that um, back of the car, you're not gonna be looking at them quite as much. And uh, this is definitely a two-piece type seat versus uh, the front over here that's covered in, covered up in a bunch of garbage. We'll uh, we'll tackle that one last, but um, kind of what I'm thinking here is, I don't know, we'll start with the, uh, the bottom cushion here, I think, and kind of go from there. This thing has been recovered in the past. I'll take you around. So this is uh, obviously the new cover and they stretch the new cover over the old upholstery here. So I haven't decided exactly what we're gonna do in terms of a pattern. Really probably what I'm thinking is do something um, with our black vinyl, maybe around the sides and the top here. And haven't decided if I'm gonna go all the way across with our darker um, gray vinyl, that denim colored stuff that's on the door panels, or if we're going to kind of cut in some uh, little squares here and stitch you know, black down the middle. I'll see what we have for material and uh, kind of make a judgment based on uh, based on that. But we'll uh, I think we're going to have to get some uh, foam for sure. These things are in pretty ratty shape. A lot of stuff's coming out from underneath them. This thing has been a, a rat's nest for a minute. So we'll have to clean all that up. All these hog rings, we'll have to snip all these clips off. And I know I have to order some of those. And I was thinking a section of this frame was broke. So we have to get the welder out and kind of pick away at that. Other than that, that's kind of going to be where we uh, start off anyway. So I did get one or two, both rear door panels on. Uh, they're kind of permanently fastened for now, if you will. Garnish moldings are still finishing up paint, so we'll throw those on. Other door panels on. I have not thrown the fronts on. Um, forgot that I had to order a lock set for this thing, so I've got the uh, locks on the way. Same thing with the ignition lock cylinder. So once that stuff arrives, we'll pop that in, put these little... Um, Put these little access covers back on and then we should be able to uh, sling those door panels on but uh, that's going to be kind of least of the priorities for now we're going to start picking away at this and uh, go from there so i'll set you up and we'll see where we end up here in a few minutes We've got nothing shy of a mess going here so kind of what we're looking like is <clears throat> as you can see this is a uh, like a burlap type material that sits down on the springs then we've got some padding that goes underneath uh, underneath it it's all chewed up by little critters and then our seat cover goes on top of that so i'm gonna try to halfway replicate this to some extent i know on like more modern cars the uh, seat foam is a lot denser and it's pre-molded and it goes around right top of the springs so you don't necessarily have to um have to put any liner down or anything. I don't think I'm able to come up with any foam like that. So what I'll probably do is use some scraps of something I've got laying around, or if I can come up with some remnants of stuff, I can lay down for uh, for some padding under here. And then I'm gonna go back with some generic uh, foam, I guess, and try to shape it to these seats. There's nothing really contours or bolsters, anything that we have to cut, it's all just flat padding. So that should make it relatively easy. But uh, kind of what I'm thinking is, before I, uh, before I tear down this seat, I'm gonna run out and see what I can come up with for material and kind of go from there, or foam, I guess. So this is, uh, these little hog rings here are what uh, crimp all the material to the seat frame, as you can, uh, as you can kind of tell here. Plenty of little rings left on here that'll have to get popped off. So the, uh, the underlayment gets crimped on first, and then the foam lays on top of it, and then the seat cover goes there. So I think I have some foam that I may drag out quick and see what that looks like. I think it's uh, pretty, pretty thick but that may help us out um, let us be able to kind of compress that down so we'll drag that out quick see what I can come up with and then may go on a little road trip run out and see what I can come up with for uh, foam and other miscellaneous parts and then we can kind of go from there so I dug around and found some foam that I had laying around for another project this stuff is uh, 
two inch open cell foam. It compresses quite a bit down to, I don't know, inch to three quarters or so thick, depending on uh, how hard you compress it. The, uh, the old padding is about three quarters of an inch thick, give or take. So I think that's gonna be kind of what we're going for with this stuff. Now all that to say, it's gonna be probably a little bit difficult to get our uh, new cover once we get it stitched up to go on here because we're gonna wanna have that stuff compressed down to you know about an inch or so thick once the cover's on, which should help kind of keep everything tight and the corners and everything looking all nice, but we may, uh, we may end up fighting a little bit getting the new cover on. So I don't know, I think we're gonna try this at least for this back section. I unfortunately do not have enough to do uh, to go the full width of this thing. So I'm gonna gather up and see if I can't go find another little bit to, uh, to splice on. I have cut this stuff before and spliced it and actually works real well. So you can just cut it wherever and then uh, use spray adhesive to kind of stick two pieces together. It seems like it works pretty well. So that'd be my, my attempt here. So uh, I don't know, we'll see what that looks like. Um, I know like on more modern seats, everything's already kind of pre-compressed and shaped and that's not gonna be so much the case with this, but um, I don't know, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So let's see if I can't find some more of this stuff and then we'll see if we can't cut it down to size and then start scratching our head on maybe an underlayment for this. And then um, I'll clean up my table up here. We'll start kind of dis disassembling the old cover, pulling some measurements off of it and uh, see what we can do to start kind of replicating this old stuff. So we've done a little bit of cleanup here. I went out and got some foam, so I should have enough to get this back section done. We'll let this kind of be a trial run for the rest of the seat. So if this works out fine, then we'll uh, we'll run out and go buy the rest of the material for the uh, the other cushions. I was not going to buy any uh, burlap material. I was just going to use scraps to go over these uh, springs here, but this stuff was cheap enough, so I just bought enough to cover this seat. We'll see how it goes. I uh, I'm still waiting on my uh, my hog rings and the pliers to crimp the uh, little metal snaps or little metal rings around the frame of the seats. So. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get going, get started. The uh, I'm just going to use some of this uh, safety wire here, and we'll uh, we'll secure this uh, burlap to the uh, seat frame just with some of this wire here in a few spots. Kind of get it stretched into place, and then uh, midday or so, my uh, hog rings and pliers should show up here, UPS. So then we can start using that to uh, actually secure the the seat um, seat cover to this uh, frame. So. Got this thing secured in a couple spots with some zip ties. I think I'm liking how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna go back and use this uh, safety wire here, get it all stretched out, and then uh, we'll start kind of cutting and trimming foam to what I think is gonna be the appropriate uh, kind of layout here, and then we'll go from there. So I've got this covered in my burlap. I think I'm looking okay there. Pretty happy with it overall. I stretched it not super tight, but just enough to kind of put a little bit of tension on these uh, springs here so everything's nice and uh, nice and tight. So the foam I had yesterday was a little bit short. And instead of splicing it, since I'm gonna need more, I just bought a full two yard chunk of this stuff here. So we're gonna lay this across here and see how it fits. And I can trim down the sides if I need to. I'll show you what I'm thinking for this top corner here. So the top of the seat breaks over right here on this seam or this little rib here, if you will. So I think what I might do is actually splice on, I'll rip a piece of foam off of this, about yay wide, spray foam it to this. And actually I'll probably put it on the bottom that way I don't have a seam up here. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna cut a notch a V notch out of the uh, foam here, probably half the depth or so. That way I don't have a seam of foam here where two, two sections come together and this will make a you know hard line. If I can kind of roll this, if you will, across this little bar here, I think that would be better for uh, how the seat, uh, the seat cover is gonna fit. So uh, let me lay this out. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down to size width wise, see what I need to do and then I'll come back and uh, yeah, then I think I'll come back and cut my notch for the top. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for these corners quite yet. All this is gonna get jammed up pretty tight and uh, open that door too much in these corners right here. So I don't have to worry about too much cushioning for the sides. I think I may go back and look at a few old pictures 
just kind of see how this thing fits in here and then uh, kind of go from there. So we're getting ready here to start kind of thinking about pattern. Foam is basically cut up like I want. It's pretty crude. So I went ahead and hacked these corners down. This is the section that's gonna roll over the side. And then I cut my V notch in the back of this thing and actually hit it with some uh, spray adhesive. So this thing's kind of tacked into place. I'll carry you over here and show you roughly how this is gonna lay. So basically we're looking kind of like this. I may have to, uh, depending on how everything kind of stretches, I may have to splice another, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches on the back of this thing, but we'll see how everything kind of falls into place. So this is, uh, that notch is gonna kind of nestle in this corner here, so that'll work great. And then this line here is roughly the edge of the seat frame. And I cut half the thickness of this down, so this should roll over here. And then I think I'm probably gonna have to do that up top as well. Kind of make a corner here that tucks in tight. But uh, not too concerned about that just quite yet. We'll get uh, pretty close with our pattern and then kind of start stretching it over it and see what uh, what things are gonna look like. So on my pattern, this is the uh, back of the seat cushion here, the uh, your backrest. I'm super limited, unfortunately, on my gray vinyl. So what I wanted to do for a pattern was basically something similar to this. Black vinyl down here and then just my gray. Easy enough, one seam across the top. I was gonna have all this black here on the edges. Basically, black everywhere, one nice even stitch across the top and that was gonna be it. Same thing with the uh, bottom of the seat here. It's gonna do solid gray down bottom, face the front of it, the black, call it good at that, but um, I don't have enough. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm actually gonna do black up top, bottom portion here is gonna be um, some of the gray that's gonna continue into the gray into the seat bottom, and then I'm gonna face it with black. However, basically from here to somewhere in this vicinity, it's gonna be gray. I'm gonna have a small strip of black in the middle and then gray on the outside. Same thing here, you can probably gonna be something about like this width, but I'll be gray from here over on this bottom portion. This is gonna be black up top. So gray from here over, black everywhere here, black strip that's gonna come down through here, gray from here over, everything black up top. And that's about the only way I can make it work with my um, the amount of gray that I had. I halfway contemplated stitching in just some uh, squares in here, stitch a square in here, do black, do black. Um, I'm not opposed to that. We'll see how things kind of go. I've got barely enough of this stuff. If I mess up, then I'm gonna be kind of short. So I'll start stitching. What I think I'll probably do is I will, uh, I think this piece here is enough to get me for this back cushion here so I can go ahead and build this one up. And if I don't like the fact, my, my middle section is gonna be black regardless. If I don't like the fact that the gray carries on over to the side, I can always snip that off and stick black all the way up to the top there. So we'll see what, uh, we'll see what I think of that. I guess I'm gonna start kind of stretching tape and see what I come up with for some measurements. We'll start penciling stuff out and then uh, go from there. I don't think I've got anywhere near enough black. I've got enough probably to do this rear seat, maybe enough to do the seat, uh, the base of the seat. Uh, but we'll probably have to come up with some more for the, uh, the front seat. But like I said, this is gonna be kind of a trial run for the, uh, for the front, so we'll see what uh, we come up with here in a little bit and just kind of keep plugging away at it. Here's roughly what we're looking like for a pattern here. So our black strip up the middle, obviously our two little gray corners over here. Went ahead and stitched together some of this uh, piping that I'm gonna attempt to uh, put in these little seams here to kind of dress it up a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit wide on both sides here. So there's gonna be this little corner here that gets stitched on that kind of makes the contour for the top of the seat cushion as well as wraps around the corner of the seat down bottom. For the time being, I'm gonna let this kind of just run wild here on the sides. I can kind of tend to that after the fact. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna kind of stitch all this together and then I can kind of work on the outer sections of it. So all that to say, I think what I'm gonna do is I, I'm planning on, I believe, putting some of this uh, piping up here in this uh, seam as well. And this top black looks a little bit long and that's because it's gonna wrap across the top of the seat. So there's actually gonna be a little bit more of the gray, I believe, exposed. A little bit more gray here than black. Um, not quite to the proportion of this uh, rear seat or this uh, front seat. Probably something, because uh, this is like two thirds bottom and then a third at the top is uh, this vinyl here. 
probably going to be closer to about like this. Not quite 50-50, but I think it's going to be a little bit more with the gray on the bottom. Is kind of what I'm going for on uh, this cushion as well. And of course, we'll match it on the drivers if this, uh, if this in fact works out. Also, this has got a stitched on to the bottom of it, a little bit different material for going around the seat. If in fact we are long enough, then I will um, go through and uh, just go ahead and crimp the vinyl here to the uh, seat frame. If not though, we can come through and burn a little stitch in right quick, go the full length of it and uh, fasten on a little bit, some scrap of whatever that's gonna get covered up. You won't ever see that anyway. So I think, um, <clears throat> I think the move to make is gonna be, I'm gonna uh, probably stitch these two together, the sides together first. I will uh, go in and see if I can get the uh, piping done in, in here as well, get those made up, and then I will uh, stitch this middle section in together. So I'm getting ready to stitch my uh, black and uh, gray together here in like the middle sections. And I decided not to put piping up the, in that seam there, thinking that that's going to uh, kind of be in the middle of your back. So I don't want this little piece of uh, cording, you know, going across your back, making kind of an uncomfortable spot. So I'm just going to stitch this together quick and then we can see about putting our uh, black section up through the middle. So I got my clips in, just a pair of pliers, little clips here, and you squeeze those, they're kind of sharp, and they should pierce through the uh, upholstery and into the little uh, frame of the seat here. So I half stretched my cover over this thing. Now the factory cover here had some different stitching in this area to kind of make this uh, corner, if you will, a little more square. I think I'm gonna skip out on that on this, um, particularly because I don't wanna do it. And two, this gets jammed up tight against the uh, side of the car. So you won't ever see it anyway. So if I have to kind of put a fold in here, it should be hidden to the eye. But if I don't like it, we can always kind of pop it off and make some adjustments there. So I'm gonna like stretch this thing, I think, and maybe punch a couple of these little clips in and just see where that looks like from there. May have to add a little fabric in some spots, but, um, for a little test fit and just see how this goes. So I got this thing wrapped. It is not quite perfect, but I think it'll suffice. So a little bit of a learning curve here. I think I've got a little better approach on these rest of these cushions we gotta do. I did end up going through here and stitching a little more material to the back side of this thing. Not worried about this seam because it'll get covered up, but that just let me give me a little more material to kind of pull over here and get stretched to the frame. I may add a couple more clips through here. These corners are what I uh, could have done a little bit different based on the uh, original seat coverage you can see. Just had a seam here to kind of square that off. Did not do that here, obviously, uh, but if I'm not mistaken, the side of the car should jam up nice and tight against this so you shouldn't see it. If I need to kind of play with those folds, we can certainly do so, but basically, this right here is kind of what we're looking like. A little bit dirty, but um, pretty, uh, pretty content with it overall. Super basic. Um, there's obviously dresser interiors out there, but for uh, a couple pieces of fabric stitched together, I think it looks uh, pretty okay. So we will uh, set you up and we'll stick it in the car quick and just see what it turns out like that. It ties into the door panels and see what it looks like here. So definitely kind of hard to tell in here with the light, but I um, think I'm pretty content with it overall. Looks kind of uh, wonky here without the bottom seat cushion in, but I think it'll, uh, I think it'll look nice when we get the, uh, the bottom in here. So 
these corners are where I kind of mentioned. You can see a little bit of my folding right here. I think we can pretty well look past that. Like I said, most of it's covered up and I can kind of adjust those if I need to kind of clean them up a little bit. But all in all, this thing pretty well drops right into place. Super content with it overall. I'm such speed how it finishes out across the back of it here. Kind of hard to tell in there, but um, this thing will actually sit a little bit tighter close to the uh, back of the seat there. But looking uh, pretty okay. So like I said, I think I've got a pretty good grasp on how I'm going to approach the, uh, the bottom cushion there. So we'll jump on that here in a little bit. Got to disassemble it and we'll clean it up. It's in a little bit worse shape. I think I'm going to need to do some welding on that seat frame, but um, we'll jump to that here in a second and see how far we can get with it. So I've got, uh, got my bottom seat frame cleaned up. I think what I'm going to do for this one, this actually had some uh, kind of wire weave through here, and I think it was to help kind of tie a bunch of these springs together. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to use wire, but I've got plenty of uh, some paracord through here. So I'm probably going to weave it through here just to kind of help like I said, tie these springs together that way, you know, two aren't being compressed. It'll be kind of acting as one uh, one big cushion. So I'm going to weave that through there quick. And then I will uh, cover it in some of my uh, burlap over here. Same thing like we did with the other cushion. And then uh, start hacking away on some foam. Get it kind of shaped to size. I did buy some thinner foam for the face of it. Just to act as a little bit of padding through here. Uh, but it's going to be the same two inch foam on the uh, on the cushion part where you sit. So let's work on getting all that shaped into size here and then um, I think we can kind of halfway start scratching our head on getting this thing covered. So I've already stitched together this uh, top portion here. I still need to uh, get the, uh, the face cut and stitched and then uh, we can kind of start wrapping after that. Making a little bit of progress here. Got the frame covered in my burlap, so looking pretty okay there. Use the uh, hog rings on this seat versus the uh, just tie wire on the last one. And then went ahead and cut some foam. So this here is my two inch foam that I use on the uh, same for the uh, back of the, uh, the rear seat. So I did the uh, same thing here, cut this down to size and then also spray adhesive some uh, half inch foam to the face of this. So I've got a little bit of padding right here. There wasn't much in the factory, but I wanted to have a little bit of buffer there. So I've got this thing pretty well trimmed down and it's going to sit on here about like so. I may need to do a little bit of touch up around these corners and I may need to take about a half inch or so off the back here, but I'm going to leave it for now. So that's kind of what we're looking like. So uh, I think we're getting ready to start uh, see what we need to get this thing covered. Got this all stitched up. backwards here but so here's what we're uh, here's kind of where we're at same uh, same kind of pattern if you will as the uh, as the front or the uh, backrest so we got this stretched over it I'll have to trim these corners here so I'm gonna go outside here in a second and drag out my uh, the old cover for the back and I'll probably take it apart or at least use it to uh, trace my uh, edges here because I'm going to want this to be a nice clean seam around these uh, corners. And then the face of this is just going to get covered 100% black and then we'll just wrap it around here and uh, uh, staple it to the uh, seat frame on the back side or use the, the little hog ring uh, crimps. But uh, that's what we're looking like. Um, I think with my black, I think I've already got one piece cut here. I believe I'm gonna have one seam right through the middle of this here. Uh, my material is not quite wide enough to get all the way from side to side, so I'll just put a nice straight seam in the middle. Um, probably be able to look right past it. So that's some work on. Get the uh, front of this thing stitched together, and then I'll start working on my uh, off the old pattern. 
or the old cover for a pattern on this uh, top section here. So what we've got going here is I took the uh, cover of the old seat, kind of separated it apart, get it for a pattern, and I traced it around the uh, top portion of what's going to be our new cover. I added about three quarters of an inch of uh, length to it just to give myself some room to work with. So uh, trace that out. So we're looking pretty good there. Went ahead and marked the center of the top of the new cover. This is going to be this black here is going to be what's uh, they're going to be the face of the uh, seat cover. So I get the seam in it because this was not long enough to go full width. So I want to be sure I get this thing located as close to center as possible, give or take you know eighth of an inch or so if I can help it. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry all this over to the machine and uh, see what we need to do. Kind of start stitching this. I think it might be a little bit tricky to uh, get this uh, stitch here nice and even and, and smooth all the way around because that's what's going to dictate how nice it's going to fit to the uh, seat cushion and how symmetrical, symmetrical it's going to be all the way around. So uh, we'll scratch our head on that and see how well it goes. But uh, I'm just going to set you guys up and uh, we'll get the stitch and see how well it comes out. All right, I think I've got this thing halfway thrown together. We'll. Uh, See what it looks like had a couple little mishaps, but uh, got them uh, stitching pulled back out, and I think cleaned up a little bit. So we'll uh, drag this over to the table and see what we're looking like. Got this thing halfway stretched to begin with. Uh, we have to work these corners a little bit. But uh, all in all, I think we're looking pretty okay. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start in these corners here, get these things kind of wrinkles worked out a bit. I'll put a couple rings in here to kind of locate this thing and I'll drop it in the car to be sure my my seams line up with, uh, with of course, the, uh, the rear here. I just wanna be sure that my uh, Seam here is not, you know, a half inch off either direction. So if we can get that pretty close, that would be good. Unfortunately, I am about half an inch off with my uh, middle seam here. What probably what I should have done was maybe started in the middle and stitched outwards on both directions. But uh, I think we'll get it here and be able to look right past it. So for now, we're going to call it good at that in terms of stitching. So I'm going to start stretching this thing around, see what we can make happen, and then we'll sling it in the car here in a minute. So a little bit of back and forth and I was able to get the rear seat in. Pretty content with it overall. My uh, seams for the uh, black to gray match up pretty okay, so I'm good with that. A little bit frustrated about this uh, seam here. I really wish this thing was centered up. In retrospect, I would have uh, stitched that different or I would have left a large portion of it, the fabric across the middle and I had two seams, one over here in this corner and one in that corner over there. Been less noticeable if they were a little bit off, but. I think once we get the uh, front seat in here, kind of in this area, you won't be able to get quite the distance on it to see that it's not perfectly centered up. So I think we'll just, uh, we'll live over it. But all in all, pretty content with it. It took a little bit of time to uh, get these corners down here to look nice, but uh, I think we can uh, call it good at that. So this is probably areas where someone that knew what they were doing could make all these little corners and whatnot, the fit and finish on that look a little bit better. but. All in all, for a little bit of fabric and a generic sewing machine, this thing is going pretty stinking smooth. So I think that's going to wrap me up for the uh, rear seat. I am not anticipating taking it back out, so I think it's in for good. So I've got a mess I need to get cleaned up over here. Got stuff scattered out everywhere. I need to uh, see what I've got for material laying around and kind of do a uh, inventory check for all that. Be sure I don't need to get anything else coming. 
and then we'll start on this front seat here so probably not going to record the whole process on this thing because i think it's going to be basically the same or similar type method as the uh as the rear seat so i'm just going to jump to it i know there's a uh, kind of a frame this thing bolts to so we'll get all it cleaned up and taken apart get this all painted up nice and neat and we'll just see what we can do to get some uh, upholstery thrown on this thing we do the same kind of pattern so you know uh black across the top here gray black stripe down the middle gray and then uh, of course gray on the bottom uh, cushion on either side and then i'll face the bottom of it with black or at least that's my intent so it'll match the rear so we'll jump to that probably take me a day or two to uh actually get that taken care of this stuff's kind of tedious so We'll plug away at that, see what that turns out like. Probably won't bring you guys back until it's knocked out, unless I run into something worth uh, worth noting on that. So hang tight, and we should have the front seat knocked out here in a second. All right, so fast forward a couple days. I have not done a very good job documenting any progress we've made here, but I've got a lot of stuff knocked out. Just kind of dove off in here, tried to get some stuff knocked out on this thing quick. So I'll take you and show you where we're at with this thing. Interior, I think, is about 98% done. So. Uh, I'll show what that looks like. Went ahead and knocked out the uh, the trunk interior. Super simple there. Got a couple other things taken care of, so we'll take you for a quick once over and kind of show you where we're at. So as you saw previously, rear seat went in. That looked turned out pretty okay. Got the uh, door panels put on. Garnish moldings are on. Window cranks and all that stuff. That stuff pretty well just reinstalled the way it uh, it came out. Still need to determine what I'm going to do with my uh, armrest here. The ones uh, I was hoping to be able to restore the. Uh, the ones that came with the car, but they're in just too rough of shape. So I'm gonna have to see if I can source some new ones. But um, these things turned out really nice. Garner moldings uh, polished up quite a bit after I uh, hit them with some paint. And then to mount these door panels, I just took uh, some of these dressier washers, popped a couple holes in the uh, door in the door itself and kind of just mounted these to place. So they're retained up here, here, two holes in the middle, and then two down low. So you can see down here, another fastener. Painted up quick the uh, thresholds here, threw those guys back on. Of course, got the uh, front seat taken care of. Didn't turn out quite as good as the uh, as the rear seat, but I think I can live over it. Mostly just this uh, curvature to the back here is a little more choppy than I had hoped, but I took this cover on and off about, I don't know, six times, I think, trying to get everything shaped right and uh, much more of on and off of it. And I was gonna have to just restitch a new one because of the seams and holes that I was punching in the bottom of it to kind of clamp it into place. But, all in all, turned out pretty okay. Same thing with the front. Went ahead and got the uh, door panels on the front on. So those things turned out pretty nice. Armrests, still need to figure those out as well. All the window cranks are on. Threw the uh, visors on as well. So I recovered these guys with uh, some of the headliner material. Pretty simple there. Rear view mirrors on. So I think most of the trim on the interior is pretty well taken care of kind of hard to see in here because it's everything's so dark but um i think in these corners here i'll show you down here on this side so this is just holding this uh panel here and here while it glues up i think i'm going to take and put a small little piece of uh, trim in here maybe just a kind of a piece of foam wrapped in uh, maybe some black upholstery or something to kind of trim that out a little bit but we'll see what that looks like all in all, looking uh, looking pretty okay. Like I said, front seat's not quite perfect, but uh, didn't turn out too bad overall. For whatever reason, I was thinking these uh, sides pieces here were actually just black painted metal, and they are in fact upholstered. So what I did was uh, cleaned up the uh, the original ones, hit them with some spray adhesive, and wrapped some uh, new black vinyl around them, and then stapled it on the back side. So it didn't turn out quite perfect, but um, I think they will certainly suffice. I was able to uh, get the mechanism for the uh, seat adjustment put back together. Still need to uh, mount up the uh, accelerator pedal. But that's all prepped and ready, so I can knock out knock that out here in a minute. But uh, interior is pretty well wrapped up. So all these cranks and everything are 100% functional. So looking uh, pretty okay here. Still need to do uh, weather stripping, get those thrown on the doors. I did go ahead and knock out the... Uh, trunk here so i'll show you what that looks like so what i did was uh just ordered some loop style carpet just a uh, a big cut of it and then trimmed it to size also covered up the uh, spare tire tub i think i'm gonna not run a spare for now but i just put a piece of uh 
the MDF hardy board that we use for the door panels over the hole here. So we can always kind of roll that carpet out and pop that out of place and drop a spare in if we decide we want to use one. Hence the reason I left the uh, retainers for all that. So the sides of this thing, as you recall in the, our uh, bodywork video, instead of trying to dress these things up and get the inside of this thing painted up nice, just cut um, some black piece panels here out of uh, same of the door panel material, wrapped it in uh, foam, and then just hit it with some of this black upholstery, and then just mounted them in place with the same fasteners as the uh, as the uh, as the door panels. This guy's gonna mount in here, kind of like so. That's roughly what uh, finished product will look like, but waiting to mount this guy up until we get uh, our rear shocks because those two guys are mounted up back there so we'll uh we'll knock that out when shocks arrive and then hadn't decided yet i think i may take some more of this material here and cut out and uh epoxy uh glue some uh some of that stuff here to kind of dress the bottom of this uh deck lid up we'll see if i decide to go that route or not but i think it turned out halfway decent just joking in here and did not uh didn't take time to set up the Camry thing. Like I said, it's a lot more of the same stuff. Really just laid the carpet in here, cut these panels out, and that was about it. So also went ahead and started kind of scratching our head on getting some of this stainless back mounted up, chrome. Turned out pretty okay. I'm just polishing up best we can with the original stuff. So as you can see, especially down low, this stuff is not quite perfect, but uh, a buffing wheel and whatnot, and this stuff actually shines up pretty nice, just minus the uh, little bit of bubbling here. So. Looking, uh, looking pretty okay there. I was able to uh, source some good used driver quality bumpers. So I'll probably show you those on the next video once we get those guys mounted up. But uh, all in all this thing is coming along pretty stinking slick. So I think for now that's pretty well gonna wrap this up kind of where we're at. Interior, like I said, is about 98% done. A couple of uh, touch-ups I need to do. So we'll kind of cross that bridge when, uh, when we get to it. Really need to sit down and make a, uh, a punch list on getting this thing finished up so we can uh, kind of fast track this car to completion. This thing is taking way longer than I anticipated, but we were kind of on the finish line. So we're kind of getting a mass parts order coming and then I'll just kind of get this thing together and we can start diving off in, checking stuff off the list. We are almost there. Still need to figure out tires a little bit. What we're gonna do with the front and the rear is not sure there. Um, radiators unknown, got a little bit of a brake leak we need to address. A couple other things, fuel tank, gotta get that figured out. But uh, like I said, getting there. So I think that's pretty well going to wrap us up for this episode. Not going to do a part four, obviously, on the uh, trunk interior since we kind of just went ahead and knocked that out. So that's pretty well it for our DIY interior. Turned out pretty decent overall. I think 650 or 600 bucks is what we ended up costing. 650, if you include the price of the sewing machine, is what it costs to do these, uh, this full interior. And that is, uh, of course, seats, door panels, um, headliner, trunk stuff. Um, $100 carpet, $150 carpet. So, you know, less than $1,000 for interior. This thing is not perfect, but certainly driver quality. So I think that's a win there. Certainly on the budget side of things, I think I'm already a little bit over my budget that I anticipated, but um, hopefully we're on our way to a nice driver quality car. So I think it's gonna wrap us up for this episode. I'm not sure what we've got coming next. Just gonna see what uh, what parts arrive first and we'll, uh, we'll jump to that next. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.